Hey everybody, I'm Brian with Fort Knox Company and we just took the family to the Santa's Workshop in Flagstaff, Arizona. This is the North Pole experience that you have out there in Flagstaff and it was awesome. I want to share some of the highlights with you guys first and then I want to get into the details about everything that we learned so that you guys can make the best decision and how to plan the perfect trip with your family. But first, let's look at these highlights and I'll get to all those details in a second. So as you can see, this place was awesome. It was a great experience for the kids, but let's just jump right into it. In November and December is when they have their travel dates and the times that you can book. And you can book it in the morning and the evening. I believe in November, it's like 50 something and 60 something. And in December, it's like 60 something and 70 something. I'll tell you this, the research said that you should try to go sometime at night because it's better. It's not, it's exactly the same because we thought we were gonna see a lot of the lights on the ride to Santa's workshop and actually the buses are all kind of enclosed. So whether it's daytime or nighttime, the only difference is when you're walking out to the bus or when you're waiting to get back on the bus to leave or go to the workshop. So the time of the day should be as best fitted for you and your schedule. And if you're trying to save a couple dollars, you can obviously do the earlier times, but it will be the exact same experience because everything is all indoors once you get there. And the bus ride there is all enclosed. So everything is contained inside the bus. They actually have the windows blacked out to kind of keep it secret. Like on the trip there, you're going through a portal. So everything's kind of blacked out. We thought that we'd be on the bus and driving through the forest and see a lot of lights. So we wanted to go at the nighttime and we probably could have not kept the kids up so late and gone a little bit earlier, but it all worked out. The next thing is planning for the weather. We went in the end of November, November 24th, 25th, right after Thanksgiving. It's already starting to snow. It snowed a little bit while we were there. So this is end of November, right at the beginning of December. It was like high 40s during the day and it got down into the 20s at night. So definitely Google or research Flagstaff, Arizona before you go, but you can plan for very cold weather. And again, daytime, nighttime, 20 degree weather, 40 degree weather. So plan for that. So as far as checking in, they actually host this at the Little America Hotel, and that is where we stayed. Now again, this is something that I am happy that we did, is that we decided since we knew nothing about the experience that we wanted to kind of be right there and I didn't want to have to time when we arrived. So I said, I'll spend a couple extra dollars and we'll actually stay at the hotel where it's hosted so that we can 
kind of stay there and not have to drive anywhere to go to it. This was a huge plus and it looked like everybody else was doing the exact same thing. They do it right by the check-in. So right where you check in and get your room, right around the corners where you check in for the experience. And then they have a waiting room inside there where all the elves and everything are getting ready. They have the Christmas trees done up and then they walk you right out to the buses and it's all right in front of the hotel. Also, when you stay at the Little America Hotel, it has a um, Santa's breakfast like breakfast with santa it's like a breakfast buffet and again just for convenience i figured we'll just get food there on the morning that we're leaving so might as well pay for that and it kind of comes with it this was probably one of the best decisions that we did because not only did it help with getting the food while you're there but it was amazing this place was beautiful it's probably one of the best breakfast buffets that we have ever been to at any hotel i did not expect this and santa claus was even there where you can still take photos again with santa claus but the food was awesome they had everything there made they had waffles pancakes french toast fruit cereal coffee milk everything you could think of they even had a whole station where they were making you custom omelets like way more than you would normally expect for a breakfast buffet so if you do decide to stay at the little america hotel get the combination package of the North Pole experience with the breakfast with Santa, I would highly recommend that. The other nice thing about the hotel is that all their buildings are connected. So wherever you're staying at or on the property, you can actually walk all indoors all the way to check-in or to breakfast. So we were on the far, I don't know, north side of the property. It's like three buildings over. You could walk all the way through all indoors because of the cold weather. They have like enclosed connections between the buildings. So that was very convenient as well. And for the money that you pay for staying at Little America, it was again above our expectations because everything inside looked brand new. The room was very high end. Everything had new finishes. The bathrooms were really nice. The lighting, the furniture, it was very spacious. It did not feel old or dated at all. We were very impressed when we got there the first night and I knew right off the bat that it was money well spent. So I would highly recommend staying at the hotel where they host it. Now, as far as booking the tickets for the North Pole experience, that is separate. Even though the websites are combined, it's like they're linked to each other. They're two separate websites. So when you book the North Pole experience, you'll have to go to the Little America website to actually book the hotel room. When we booked our tickets, it was a few months in advance. This is something that I learned by speaking to some friends that it's not something that you can do as easily with the uh, short notice. But again, I was trying to worry about what time we were going. So of course, all the later times were taken. And now that I know it, I would say go for the afternoon ones, go for whatever's available because no matter what time slot you get, it will be a great experience. So don't worry about that. Grab whatever is available and just take it because the time does not really have any bearing on how good of an experience you're gonna have. Now, if you don't wanna stay at Little America, you could obviously stay anywhere in town. It's a very nice small town. They have a lot of different hotel options and you can save a few dollars by staying somewhere else. And when you do go to Little America, you're just gonna be there about 30 minutes early. You check in. The check-in process was really quick. Again, it's right past the main entrance and you go around the corner. Everybody knew exactly what you were asking about. They'd send you right there and you check right in. I think we waited in line maybe one minute. They definitely have a whole system down to keep everything flowing. Like every 10 or 15 minutes, they have a new batch of people getting ready. And it was really nice because with little kids, that can be kind of tough. And they have this whole thing kind of worked out to be very smooth. So now you're ready to go. You're ready to load onto the bus. They have you get there a few minutes early. They get you all gathered up for your group. They walk you out to the buses. You get the lights from the trees, depending if it's nighttime or not. And then they have somebody on the bus who's going to kind of help host you there, one of the elves. And they bring you right up to Santa's workshop. They unload you right there in front of the doors. It's these big wooden doors, and then you get to go in. And there's all these different rooms that you get to go into. As you can see in the highlight video, there's a lot of different stages that you go through, and they interact with the kids, and they sing. Um, you even get some hot chocolate and some snacks, and the kids get to help make some toys. And then at the very end, they get their own teddy bear from Santa Claus. They get to see him privately, just you and your family. So you do get some private time with Santa, and they give you photos with Santa. It's all complimentary. You're part of what you're paying for. So they get a toy, you get the family photos, and they get private time with Santa, and Santa looked awesome. This was not cheap. Everything inside is done very well. We've been to a couple different Santa or Polar Express experiences, and this by far tops all of them. And that's pretty much it. I don't want to spoil everything for you guys. I did show a lot in the highlights, but all the main details of when to schedule, what to expect and where to stay and the check-in process. It's very easy and above our expectations of what we spent our money on. It's well worth it. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them there in the comments below. I'll put the link for the websites in the description. If you haven't already, give the video a like, share it with your friends. I'll see you guys on the next one.